Hi, this is Paul from globaltradingsoftware.com and this is a education video using our x Algo, the Divergence Cloud and the EMA Cloud, part of that day trading bundle. And this is on gold. I'm going to use three different platforms that we developed for to show you the same trade. Uh, we're going to use TradingView, TradeStation and MotiveWave. MotiveWave, we're going to play the actual trade through with a playback. Uh, but first of all, I wanted just to, to go through each platform and just note some slight differences. Now, they all work the same, even though there's slightly different data between each broker. So you'll notice on this uh, trading view, um, we had a five and a six star by Expert Algo down at the bottom here. Uh, we've got a green triangle just above the six star, and that's for the divergence cloud, com you know, co the confirmation of those signals on that same candle. Uh, but it's a green triangle pointing up. And then obviously you see the divergence cloud, the EMA cloud uh, is colored in on TradingView. And we use that EMA cloud to manage this trade all the way into the close. And this gold trade into the close on Friday is usually pretty damn good if we get the signals and the confirmations. Um, so with TradingView, we got, I mean, I only like the six star buys. We got the confirmation from the divergence cloud and you go above the whole $1,900 for that entry there, 1900.3. Uh, and as we can see here with this, this is a FIB extensions. If we risk, you know, the, the stop loss is at uh, 1897.4. Um, so you can work that out. That's, you know, near as damn it, three points uh, on there, uh, 30 tick stop. Uh, quite a big stop there. Uh, but we'll go through the management of that when we go through the playthrough on the motive wave. But the potential reward, uh, you know, if we're, if we're risking, um, you know, $300 here, there's $300 profit there. There's $600 profit there. There's $900 profit there. There's those risk to reward ratios that you can see there. So this is the trading view version. Five, six star buy alerts on gold. This is gold futures on the three minute. Um, we've got the five, the six star buy. More importantly, we get the divergence cloud confirmation. And the first confirmation is that green arrow pointing up. And then the cloud starts to print. Uh, the EMA cloud in blue is used for um, the trade management. Um, so that's what it looks like on TradingView. TradeStation, slightly different. So when we get, this time we get a four and a six star buy. Again, it's slightly different data, but you still get those alerts. So instead of five and a six, we got four and a six. Uh, and, and again, it depends how those, these are high Kinashi candles, so it depends how those average out. And again, it's a different broker, so slightly different data there. Uh, but the main thing is those signals are the same. The entry is the same, 1900.3. Uh, we get big green arrows this, this time on the um, trade station version with the four and the six star up above written in white. The green dot is our divergence cloud. So the divergence cloud comes on the same candle, the same as trading view. But this time it's a green dot to say, hey, divergence is a moving part. We're in a bullish state. The cloud, the EMA cloud, if you like, is just two parallel lines on trading view. We can't color those in. Um, okay, it's just a restriction we have. But it's the same thing. It's the signal, the confirmation from the divergence cloud. You see then the divergence cloud starts to color in. A little bit better graphics on, on TradeStation 10 here. So you can see that divergence cloud a bit more clearly. Uh, and then we you, we just go up and again, it tips that uh, nine, um, $900, 90 ticks uh, type profit there before the close. So that gold closing trade, again, using that EMA cloud to manage the trade, no close below there as well. So let's go and look at the motive wave version now. So this uh, version, I've put it back to the playback. Okay, so we're going to play it forward and discuss each one. And again, the others would have um, done the same. So we're going to play it forward. Again, this is three minute chart on um, on gold, gold futures. 
So let's just play this forward now. So see here on this candle, we start to get the green arrow pointing up for that divergence confirmation, but look what happens. It disappears. It didn't quite, uh, we've got to wait for the close of that candle. That's another important thing when you're trading this strategy. Uh, you've got to wait for the candle closes for both alerts and for that confirmation. Let's play this forward again. Right. So again, six star buy, divergence cloud confirmation on the candle closed. You see on here though, we're actually with a divergence cloud, one of the things that we can switch on on all of the others is uh, we, we can color the candles uh, with the divergence cloud. So they'll be green uh, if, if we are in a bullish state as well as the cloud, you see the cloud just starting to form where the cursor is here green. So again, six star buy, got confirmation from the divergence cloud, big green arrow. Okay, this time, uh, on the motive wave we can color the EMA cloud in here you can see um, and we're ready for that entry so we get an entry through our 1900.3 same fib levels are on here as well um, just to, to show you and then we're going to talk about how we manage this trade one of the things that we need to do first is get it to risk free so one of the things I like to do is look at the EMA cloud getting through that entry um, just the bottom of the EMA cloud to getting through the entry so we're we're, we're hitting some resistance uh, a little bit here you can see how the divergence cloud is now getting stronger the candles are colored green okay for that divergence cloud let's play this forward a little bit more okay so just now we have the EMA cloud coming through the original open. We've come to test the EMA cloud once and then we've bounced back up again. Uh, you know, we're, we're talking 40, 40 ticks here um, on, this, um, on this move right now uh, where we are. So, you know, we've come from 1900.3 uh, and this one 161% is 1904. So that's 40 ticks, $400 there. Uh, not a bad little uh, trade coming, uh, you know, coming up. But the, one of the things we need to look at is making this risk free. For me, that's very, very important. Okay, so I can now at this stage, just going to move it slightly up a little bit so I can grab hold of it in a minute. Once that EMA cloud goes through there, one of the first important things that I like to do is make the trade risk free. Okay, and that's that's a big weight off a lot of traders' shoulders. Let's play this forward a little bit more. You see how we get one candle there painted red, warning signs. But we, again, we're using the EMA cloud to manage the trade. Okay, we get a big bounce up, we breach this pivot point here. That's the point in which then we start to whoa, 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 whoa. see grabbed hold the wrong one. Okay, that's the point in which then we start to trail it with uh, our trailing stop with the EMA cloud here. I'm looking for pivots really, so let's just play this forward again. I go a little bit bigger here. So the next real thing that I'm interested in is this pullback here for this pivot around about the 100% line, the 1902.9. I need the EMA cloud to get through this pivot because that's my next goal on managing this trade. Let's play that forward. You see the EMA cloud being tested now. So at this point, it's being tested at this support. So you just hold off on that. Okay, the previous pivot is here, so that we can adjust our trading stop to around about the 50%, you know, just locking 16 ticks there. I'm just going to move it up a, a touch slightly. Um, let's see how this test goes first at that, you know, that 1902.9 should hold as support. That's what we're saying to ourselves and look at the EMA cloud. Now we're starting to move away from there. That gives us great confidence 
to move our trailing stop to 1901.7 because we've come to test this previous pivot the EMA cloud has held and it started to move away again let's play this forward a little more coming down to test the EMA cloud again but look at what happens here the divergence cloud we've got another green arrow pointing up and we're getting the cloud form again so there's a lot of bullish you see how the candles are going green as well so the the, the candles uh, that are in blue are like neutral candles uh, so there's no real bias uh, the ones in red they're one candle wonders uh, for you know for bearish uh, but the green are for bullish bias so we see here with the divergence cloud we've got the green arrow again this is looking pretty good we're forming another base another support does that hold you should be asking yourself now if it does hold then we need to consider uh, moving our trailing stop once the bottom of that EMA cloud goes through this base here through that support just got to be patient when we're trading this okay now the EMA cloud has gone through this base so we can adjust our trailing stop to this point so let's and grab hold of that line there we go whoops move that again grabbing hold of these lines sometimes is pretty difficult there we go okay so now we've got this pivot point here this support and that's where we've adjusted the trailing stop to just move that back to 1903 okay so again we're, we're pointing up we, we're coming into the close here on Friday uh, you can start to be more aggressive if you wish let's just play it through a little bit more now one of the things for me is um, you know we can start to be aggressive by adjusting that stop every time not just that there's a pivot here so let's adjust it when the bottom of the EMA cloud goes through there still got a little bit of time left into the close so don't be you know too down hard right now that was a real big move up there um, which is interesting so you can see how it rejected this candle rejected those highs so for me at this point uh, you've got to be thinking to yourself 1908 1900 you know that's 80 ticks it's tried it once and it's let go so you put your take profit limit order at 1908 one okay or at those highs where, where, wherever that was because it was a rejection but this EMA cloud is holding still so we can keep adjusting up like this we can also now go to our EMA cloud and go more aggressive so we can change that to 21 just let that update what this does is gives you a more aggressive stance in here we can see this pivot tested this 21 EMA cloud so we can more aggressive with that training stop now let's play it forward a little bit more there we test again and reject again looking at that behavior after it happened the first time you've got to put your take profit limit order in and around that 300% uh, there, that 1908 level, because it just keeps rejecting. So it's rejected it once. Learn from the behavior, put your take profit limit order there to take the profit. You're going into the close, that gets your maximum um, profit taking there. So again, we didn't quite take out that trading stop if you didn't take out the profit up here. We're getting into the close now. We've got to consider just getting out okay and there we go to the close okay stop that so there were opportunities to take maximum profit or just close at the end of the day which would have you know would have made you five six hundred dollars there but the one thing I wanted to reiterate here was you get alerts but then you need the confirmations and it does print in real time and the main thing for traders using this day trading bundle um, 
is to let the candle close. So the candle closes, it prints the signal on the close. We get the confirmation on the close. It will come up slightly while the candle is open, but wait for the candle to close and that green triangle here, or on the trade station we saw it was a green dot, uh, let it appear when the candle closes. Next is sensible entry. You know, we, we, I talk about looking left and everything like that, but for me, on a Friday, I'm going to be reasonably aggressive, and in this case, I wanted to get under a, a over sorry the whole $1,900 sort of price level really, uh, and that was going to be my entry because usually you get that run. Uh, predominantly, you get that run into the close on Friday on gold. Uh, if you get that signal, uh, and, and the X Brad algo is really good at picking up that, then obviously it's signal confirmation from the divergence cloud, and then just manage it with the MA cloud. I'm not saying every single Friday gold just shoots up because sometimes you get a nice and short trade into the close. But you will only trade these close, you know, going into that close on a Friday if you get the signals. Discipline, you've got to get the signal, then you've got to get the confirmation, then you trade and you get out as much as you can. I mean, to be honest, this is a great, a, a great looking trade. And again, we looked at it on uh, three different platforms Trading View. Trade Station and now Motive Wave. Uh, we do develop for other uh, platforms as well. I just wanted to show you that it's the same strategy no matter what platform you're trading on. It looks a little different, but it still does the same thing. And the discipline is very important. Signal, confirmation, entry, then trade management. Those must be key. And I only look for six stars. People like to get four five star uh, buys and sales because you're getting slightly early but for me I'm British I'm conservative I always take the highest probability moving even if I'm in and slightly later so hopefully that helps uh, um, again it's the day trading bundle this is gold it's, it would be the same for um, for any type of futures contract or, or Forex um, but just reiterate go back watch more training videos subscribe to this channel uh, and again, I keep reiterating the same thing because you need to repeat, eat, sleep, repeat. It's simple and repeatable. The, the hard work has been done by developing these indicators um, to think like my trading brain. Um, the, the, the thing you have to do is be disciplined and repeat the same strategy. Signal, confirmation, entry, trade management. Without the confirmation from the signal, you do not trade. It's as simple as that. Okay, hopefully that helps, and I'll speak to you all really soon.